Okay, so finally doing this makeup video that people actually do request. I'm not one of those people that says, everyone's been asking about my skincare regimen when like no one has asked. So take this with a grain of salt. I'm not a makeup artist. I kind of just find what works for me, products that work for me in a way that works for me. So keep the harsh judgments or maybe the not nice comments to yourself and I will show you how I do my makeup for work. So my skin is so dry. I have such dry skin. I also am like not great at not touching my face. So I definitely get like a little bit of acne scarring. So I use this active botanical serum, Beatner's daughter, and it just smells like a floral garden. I'm so obsessed with it. It smells like what in my mind Gwyneth Paltrow smells like. I'm just very into it. And I just think it kind of helps create the little bit of dewy skin that looks healthy and well moisturized. Guys, I'm gonna try to get through this as fast as possible. This is probably just as painful for me as it might be for some of you guys. So we are gonna do a very speedy makeup little video. Kinda let that set in for a little bit. At this point, I would get my makeup sponge ready, my beauty blender, like wet that while that's setting in. Make sure this gets nice and fluffy. And I like to do my foundation next. So I use two foundations or tinted moisturizers. I like the CC Cream by It Cosmetics. I like it because it has um, like anti-aging hydrating serum, but what I like most about it is the SPF in it. So if I'm gonna have any type of sun, I use this. But what I like for full coverage is this Kat Von D locket. This thing will hide all the facial sins. It's totally foolproof. It's incredible. Excuse me, I need a sip of coffee if I'm going to be making this makeup video. <laughs> what am I gonna do today? Probably not gonna be in the sun too much. Let's try the full coverage thing. Actually, let's mix the two. Let's just have a little party. So a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And I just don't really have a method to my madness. I just kind of go all over. I'm a little pale right now, so this might be a little bit off of my skin tone, but I definitely like foundations that have a little bit of a, like a warmer tone to it. I feel like it makes me look less like a corpse and more alive. Like, oh, she's got a pulse, good. I do tend to go with warmer tone kind of thing, kind of colors, and then you can be like, oh, that's not your natural shade. I'm like, I like it, and it works for me. I go on my eyelid, I get it all. And so the worst part is, is when you're putting on foundation or anything and you forget to do this part, Ooh, we better rub that in. And you know what, I kind of have like some little pimple spots that are healing up right now. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of my full coverage Kat Von D and this is 54 in medium neutral. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more on this side of my face just to really cover that up. You can already see such a difference. It's like, wow, she's alive. That's good. And we're blending all in here. Now for concealer, let's hide. You can't see it because I have good lighting right now, but there are some very real bags under my eyes. One more sip of coffee while we do this. I probably put on too much concealer too, but here we go. We just do, I just do little drops underneath my eyes. And this is CC Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. So if you get the cries, you gonna be okay. Right, and then I just take my beauty blender using the tip and rub that. All in over my eye too. I feel like over your eye kind of creates a little bit of a natural primer if you're gonna do eyeshadow or anything. Foundation's done, now I do a little bit of contour. You guys know I wear my hair up for work and sometimes it's slicked back. In fact, my fiance always jokes, he's like, you look so fast, like, because <laughs> it's so slicked back. So but with that comes a lot of face. Like you don't have a little bit of hair to like cover your face or anything. It's just your face, so contouring kind of helps me feel a little bit more confident and not having a pancake face with super slick back hair. I use two different kinds of bronzers to contour. This Bare Minerals in Warmth. I use this to kind of do more of like a finer contour, so I suck my cheeks in, I'll go fish, and look for that kind of natural line, and I go for it. And I let it sit too. I want that to kind of set in. And then I'm gonna go up on the hairline, like so. Rub that in a little bit more. And if I wanna have like Margot Robbie jawline, maybe I come down here and just fill in there a little bit. Ooh, we're not Margot Robbie yet, but we wanna be. So I let that sit on my face just a little bit, but here is like my creamy, good 
bronzer. One of my best friends turned me on to this Chanel Sole, Sole, how do you see it? Universal Bronzing Makeup Base. Sole Tan de Chanel, it's so fancy. Mine's disgusting because I've had it for a long time. And I just have this giant buffer brush that I kind of swoop in get a little bit on and then I just kind of go and like cream everything together that I've put on my contour and so it's not you can see it was pretty harsh but then that kind of blends it in quite nicely and I just swear by this Chanel bronzer I'm obsessed with it it's one of those things that if people asked what's one of those products that you just can put on with nothing else and you just feel better it's this I just think it makes you look like you just got back from St. Bart's, even though I don't frequent there as like outside of my job, but that's how it makes me feel. I'm starting to look more like a person with a pulse. This is good. My eyebrows, now that I got all this makeup on my face, I wanna have some eyebrows. Here's the thing guys, my Anastasia Brow Wiz pen has this much left on it. Like there's, there's nothing left. So we're gonna do our best to make this come together. I think I have a pretty heavy hand when I do my brows because I go through these things like no one's business, but it's the best, so I keep buying it. I just, at, my, at the top of my eyebrow, I just go one line underneath here and I go one line on top there. I don't fill anything else in right now. And then I'll just kind of go through and I like to give myself a little bit more of a defined brow, so maybe I'll extend that. Ooh, you know when you are just like about to lose yo, and you have this much left? That's how this eyebrow pencil's telling me it is right now. It's like, listen girl, I ain't got much left for you. Ooh, we are losing it. That's about all it has left. I want you guys to know, I will not be having any eyebrows until I get back to America. So this one's for you guys. So the other end is just this uh, like brow pencil. So this is what I do. So, Cause I don't want my eyebrows to look too harsh. They look so crazy right now. I just don't want them to look too harsh in the front. So I'll just go in with my eyebrow pencil and just kind of push that color that I put on there where there's two lines up and down like that. And then I'll maybe I'll go in with my finger and clean it up a bit. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Next is this Anastasia. I don't know what it's called, but it looks like this and it's a just like a brow color pencil and I just go in to make my brows just a little bit more defined it holds them in place because I've got pretty long eyebrow hairs <laughs> so it just holds them from looking too wacky and adds a little bit more color maybe I'll go in a little bit just because my eyebrow pencil kind of whacked out on me so you can see I know now that the eyebrows look a little intense but when you put eye makeup on totally negates it makes it okay again you know what we forgot to do highlighter I really love this cover FX it just takes a couple drops again I probably don't put it on the right way but I don't care this is what we're doing so I'll just do like a little bit on my forehead a little on my nose a little on the bridge of my nose and then all through here like I don't even like squeeze it I just use it as a stick really and I'll just use my beauty blender and go in on the bridge of my nose up around here Another thing I'd like to just top it off with, I like highlighter. I just feel like highlighter, again, is one of those things that makes you feel like your look is together. So then I have this little Becca Champagne Pop highlighter that I'll go in with a fan brush and just kind of like tossle it up a bit. Like a little bit more. Little on the nose, little on the brow. Right here, maybe a little there. We see. Put it everywhere. I don't care. I'm running late, so we're gonna rush through this, guys. I've literally had this Dior eyeshadow palette forever. I think I've had it since high school. That's over 10 years ago. It just looks like this. It has brown. It has brown. And that's, we're doing a simple look today. Brown like my hair, brown like my eyebrows. And I just use this brush. I just kind of go in. I'm not doing multicolors here. I'm just trying to add a little bit of definition. This probably looks crazy. And I literally just swipe it back and forth here. I'm just trying to have a little bit of color. One eye is really darker than the other. This isn't going how I intended. I look crazy. All right, so it's gonna be a little darker than I anticipated, but here we go. And I just like this because it just kind of helps my eyes pop a little bit. I don't got a lot going for me, but I do have light eyes. So like work with what you got. You know, if you got great cheekbones, use that blush. If you got great eyes, like use those tools. Can you guys tell me I'm obsessed with Chanel makeup? I just think they're the best. I like J-Lo uses it and look at J-Lo. So I have this Chanel eyeliner. All right, guys, be patient with me on this one. I'm actually gonna pull this mirror over here and I just trace it along my eye and then I run a line to my eyebrow basically and then fill it in. I should try to do it in front of you guys so you can see, but ah, here we go. 
This is so far away from the actual mirror. I need to move here. You're not allowed to make fun of me for any faces I make when putting on eye makeup, because I'll probably do it. Uh. Okay, so see how I just drew that line? And then I just run it from the corner of my eye up. Like that, a little cat eye. I like the cat eye look. Kind of just makes me feel like my face is smaller than having that pancake face when you have your hair slicked back. Nothing wrong with a little pancake face. I love pancakes. Like it's all a stack of pancakes with some butter and some syrup. Not against it, but I just want my face to like not look like that. Maybe when I'm flying. So you can see I just run a line and then I go in and fill it in and connect it on an angle going up. Ooh, this angle shows I need to pluck my eyebrows. You didn't see that. Okay. We're gonna really make these eyes pop today. We're going the waterline today. So I have this little MAC eyeliner pot. Is it technically meant to use on the top of your eyelids? Yes. Are we gonna use it on our waterline? Yes. Cause I actually find it works better. It like stays on better throughout the day. Can you still see in here? Not that I expect you to answer. So I just take a little angled brush. Ooh, things are getting dark and twisty. And then I also go above. See the difference? Oh my God. Now she's got a pulse. She's coming together. I swear, we're not gonna go past 20 minutes on this video. That would be entirely too painful. All right, so let's get some mascara on because then I'll really feel like I have my life together. Listen, I buy nice makeup because it's good quality makeup because I just feel like it lasts longer and it doesn't make me break out. There are some things I know when to splurge on and I know when to not splurge on. Eyelash primer, I don't splurge on it. L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. I'm just trying to get more bulk on my eyelashes to make them look super big and long. This is like $6. I used to buy the one at Clinique or Dior and I'm like, why am I spending $30 on something that no one even really sees or like it's not a visible product that you use. So I go on with this first. So it's gonna be one of those days. I always love when my fiance walks in on me on this part. He's like, are you gonna go out like that? And I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go out with white eyelashes. I thought it was a new look. It looked great. And I'm like, no, I'm not going out like this. My favorite mascara ever, It Cosmetics Superhero. I just like things that like bombshell eyelashes. I know some people go for those little flirty eyelashes and they look good on people, but me, like I need big and bad and like, are they fake or are they not kind of eyelashes. The real method of the madness with mascara is to go wiggle, 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 up, up, up. And that is how you get most of your product on your eyelashes. You guys probably saw that initial picture of me with no makeup on. You're like, is that Jamie? Is that Flightus? So and now you're like, oh, there she is. She's coming together. <laughs> we could probably put like a whole video together of just the faces people make while putting on mascara. It's like a little on my bottom. Lashes. Yeah, so as you can see, like I don't do a ton of eyeshadow or like different looks with eyeshadow. Eyeshadow takes too long for me and I'm just keep it simple. A little bit of color to add some dimension and that's it. This is my favorite lip liner, Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. Like she's the woman that did the Pamela Anderson like nude lip in the 90s that I'm obsessed with. I just love any lip product that she does. I also like to overline my lips a little bit so. Don't judge. I just put all this chapstick on so it's not really going on that much. Just a little bit. So, I already kind of have big lips, but I like to make them look bigger. Okay, so let me show you some three products. This is that Chanel lip healthy balm that I love, that deep color that I posted that I always have. I just kind of feel like it gives that nice color. So I'll show you guys this. And like, look how dark it is. It just doesn't go on that dark. It just kind of has like a nice little berry tint to it. Some other products I love, some dupes. My friend showed me this. Look, I have so much makeup on my hands. It's not a good look. This e.l.f. lip plumper from Target, it sells. My friend has shown me this before. I like the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Magic. This one's good too. I mean, let's just put this on too, why not? Let's just load my lips up with everything. So I like that. And then another is the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie in Mademoiselle is another pretty color I like to use. That's nude, but for now, let's add a little lip plumper because who doesn't like their lips stinging while they're drinking their oat milk latte? Okay guys, 21 minutes. I feel like that wasn't that painful, but if you have any questions about anything I used, if I forgot to tell any of the products, I'm not good at this. I'm not a makeup vlogger, but I'm just trying to give the people what they asked for. So, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.